One of my Shopify brands generated 19K in the last seven days. And in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how to build a Shopify dropshipping business from scratch, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to build the exact same kind of store that I used in order to generate 19K in the last seven days. This video is gonna be full of nothing but value. And if you don't have any idea what Shopify is or how to use it by the end of this video, you guys will know how to build a whole entire Shopify brand that's optimized for conversions. All right, you guys, so now that we're on my computer, the first thing we're gonna do is start a free Shopify trial. For those of you who don't know how to start a free trial, you guys, I'm gonna have the link in the description. It's just gonna say, start your free Shopify trial. Shopify gives you a 14 day free trial and that's what we're gonna be using to build our websites, create Shopify ID. This is literally how easy it is to set up your Shopify trial. This is all you're gonna have to do right away and then click create your first store. So all I'm gonna do is verify my email address. You guys just head over to your email, click confirm email. So with that being said, I'm gonna go down here, click create store. Store. your store name let's call this no spill bull one two three I'm gonna go around and just skip these questions you don't need to answer these you can just skip all this stuff located in the United States and you can use Shopify worldwide so don't worry about it even if you're not in the US it's totally fine you can use Shopify everywhere in the world so this is the Shopify dashboard right here over here you have orders products customers finances analytics marketing discounts and your online store this is primarily where we're gonna be hanging out in the beginning is online store because that's where you actually build your store so once we go ahead and click online store all we're we're gonna do since we're using a premium theme is click add a theme but before we do that I have to download the premium theme which I'm gonna show you guys how to get access to at the end of this video I have this little theme downloaded I'm gonna just drag it over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and click right here add theme upload zip file and then as I go to add file I'm gonna go only one premium theme I'm gonna click actions and then I'm gonna click publish so I click actions I click publish and right there you guys as you can see we've got it pulled up right here. So only one private Shopify theme, boom, hit customize. First thing I'm going to do is import the product over to my store. So what I'm gonna do is actually go back, hit click exit, go down to add apps, and I'm gonna add the app called Dessers right here, or Deezers, right? Go ahead and click install app, and this is the app that's gonna allow you to actually put products on your store and actually drop ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and click register myself, and I'm gonna put my email, and then I'm gonna make a little password. So I'm gonna type in no spill bull and see if it'll pop up. Let's see right here, you guys. As you can see, we've got a no spill bull right here and one right here as well. Add this product to my import list. It's gonna go over to that and that's where you're gonna get ready to import the product to your Shopify store. So I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna edit products. So I'm gonna just pick a name real quick. Keep it at magic bull for now. So all I'm gonna do is I like to capitalize these letters just cause it makes it look more clean. So blue, purple, and then I'm not gonna include this fork thing. I don't like this thing. It doesn't make sense. And then we have the price value, price compare value. So what I'm gonna do is edit the price right here that I want it to be. So if it's costing me $4.90, I'm gonna sell this for $14.99. I think that's a definitely a fair price for this product. Compare at price this is gonna be basically like the price that's crossed out and says sale. So I'm gonna make it look like, you know, it was regularly $29.99, now it's $14.99. You guys could edit everything right in here. You guys could add stuff to your collections, all that. But since this is a one product store, I highly recommend you guys use one product stores, especially drop shipping right now, because if you have a store with just thousands of products, it's gonna look like a general store and people are gonna rather go to the mall or go to Target than buy your product. I'm gonna go to the description and inside of this, I'm just gonna delete all of this stuff and we're gonna edit the description later once we're inside of Shopify. So all I'm gonna click now is push to Shopify and as soon as I click push to Shopify, continue selling without a stock, also price, price is product, if you manually add the price and boom, push to Shopify. So now, as soon as I push this product to Shopify, you guys, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna go into products and I'm gonna have the product right here ready to edit. So now that I have the product on my Shopify store, as you guys can see, it literally looks like I'm already ready to sell this product. But obviously there's still a lot more we have to do to this website, but that's really how easy it is. Essentially what I'm gonna do now is actually think of a name for this brand. So I'm gonna go over to Canva. So you guys could literally go like this, type in logo, and then let's pull this up right here. So I'm just gonna pull this one up right here. Easy Eats. Yeah, let's do the Easy Eats. I like that, so Easy Eats. So it makes it seem like it's easy for kids to eat, right? Easy Eats Bowl, I like that, I like that a lot. I'm gonna see if I can make this look cool on this logo in any way. So Easy Eats right here, right? This looks super sick. So all I'm gonna basically do now is go ahead and save this logo, so download. And I want to use this transparent background feature. I'm gonna click try it free for 30 days and I'm gonna just do this real quick, 97045. I do recommend you guys sign up for their free trial because they are a super great 
website to use. Okay, perfect, you guys. So as soon as I did that, I'm gonna click agree and pay. And then basically all I'm gonna do now, go ahead and go back over here. And I basically got this already made. So maybe later, right, next, whatever, start girl business next, right, boom, X off. Okay, now I can basically save this with transparent image. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click download, click transparent. I'm gonna make it a little bigger because I like the logos to be big. And then I'm gonna go ahead and leave this right here. What the transparent image does is it removes this little white box that you guys are seeing right now. As soon as I go ahead and load that in there, right there we go, boom. So now it's transparent. Now I might even make it a little bigger. Now that we have our logo made, you guys, what's next to do is to actually customize the header. So with the slideshow, you wanna just upload some images of your product right here. So I've got a bunch of images saved for this product already. So make sure that you guys order the product on Amazon and ship it to your house so you guys can get it in two to three days and take custom photos and images for your product. For this example, obviously, I'm just making this website super quick for you guys. I think this image is pretty cool. Yeah, this is perfect because it kind of attracts moms. Moms can see that there's a kid on it. I like that. And then maybe I'm gonna click, link it to this product and say, you know, shop now. I got my featured product section. I'm gonna obviously select the magic bowl because that's what we want. And I'm going to show vendor, show description, show colors. Yeah, I wanna show all that stuff. Show quantity selector, boom, save. Make sure you guys are clicking save. And then you guys, I have a spot for my newsletter. So your newsletter is really important because it's where you collect emails from your customers. So go ahead and put an image right there. That's actually like a pretty perfect image for a newsletter. I kind of like the way that looks. Easy Eats. Right there, I literally already have a website set up, which is pretty crazy, you guys. The other thing that you guys could add right here is your actual Instagram feed. This is a cool thing that's customizable on my premium theme. You guys could actually, once I make an Instagram for the store, I would go ahead and basically link my Instagram right here. I'm gonna go to theme settings and I'm gonna mess with my colors. I'm gonna make it blue because I feel like blue is kind of a good baby color. Let's see what it looks like if I make the heading text on this guy on this guy pink right here, boom. And then we go ahead and go like that. And then what I'm gonna do is go to the background of the footer and I'm going to make it, let's say black. Yeah, I like the black look just cause we have a lot of white and stuff. Okay, you guys, so now that we have the homepage set up, all we're gonna do now is set up our policies. This is like your terms and conditions, privacy policy, everything like that, refund policy, all that stuff you wanna set up. So all I'm gonna do is go to settings and I'm going to go down to policies. And then as I go to policies, I'm gonna do the privacy policy, create from template create the terms of service from template. Shopify is nice because they do this all for you. So as soon as I click save, I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna go to navigation and I'm gonna edit our footer menu. So when I go to our footer menu and add this, this is the footer menu that's at the bottom of your website right down here. As I go ahead and go to link policies and then I'm gonna click privacy policy add. I'm gonna make another page and click refund policy add. And then I'm going to add one more policy which is our terms and conditions or terms of service. I'm gonna say, more about us. I don't like the footer menu. I don't think that looks good. I think more about us looks good. And then I'm going to create one more page, which is a contact us page. So as I go right here, I'm going to go default theme. I'm going to go contact our team. Guys, using words like team is super good on your website because it makes people feel like, you know, it's actually a real team. And then I'm basically going to go to navigation and I'm going to go to more about us and I'm going to add the contact us page. So I'm going to go back to navigation. I'm going to edit one more thing, which is our main menu. I'm going to delete the catalog, remove, I'm gonna delete this contact and I'm gonna add my menu items. So these are the menu items that will pop up right here at the top of your website. So realistically, all you wanna do right here is since it's a one product store, just have our bowl. Boom, I like that. So you guys, as you can see, I've got all of this stuff set up and looking good to go. I've got all my pages down here and I've got all my menu items down here that I want or over here, the official Easy Eats bowl. So then when people click on it, it takes them right to the product page, which is super, super sick. The thing I wanna do on the product page is actually delete the related products just because it's something that people aren't going to use because this is a one product store a product page recently viewed products I'm going to get rid of that as well the other thing that I want to do you guys is make the cart type a different page and not just a drawer so I want to make it a different page because it's going to make it look way way better so on the background for the buttons I'm going to want to use let's say a pink color I do like the pink color that we're kind of rolling with I think it kind of fits the theme maybe we even try to do a 
blue and see what that looks like. Blue is a really good buying color. For those of you guys who don't know, blue is like associated with purchasing and buying things and taking action. So blue is always a good color to use if you can, if it looks good. Go down here and make this blue as well. Go back to home so I could edit the home page once again. And on here, I'm gonna edit the announcement bar. Free worldwide shipping today only. I like to put that just because it makes people like, oh my gosh, I need to buy it right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the shipping settings. So shipping settings, this is what you wanna set up next. This is something that a lot of people have troubles with, so definitely pay attention here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click manage, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click delete all these zones that they already have set up. And then I'm gonna click show details, and I'm gonna click manage, remove rates for shop location, and I'm only going, going to use desert fulfillment. So I'm gonna create shipping zone. I'm gonna call it worldwide shipping. So worldwide shipping, add rate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually call this free VIP insured shipping. I like using this name just because it's like, you know, VIP insured shipping. It makes it sound super nice. It's going to be based off minimum weight because as soon as you import a product to your Shopify store, it's set to zero pounds. So I'm going to base this off weight. So then every time I import a new product, it's basically going to come in as zero pounds and it's going to give it free shipping. The next thing that I want to go ahead and do you guys is add another app, go to the Shopify app store, and I'm going to add this app called Ali reviews, which is going to put reviews on your product page. Type in Ali reviews and you guys I don't like to add a ton of apps to my store just because it makes your website slower and it doesn't look good if you guys have just thousands of apps on your store and a bunch of pop-ups and things going on so as soon as I get started with Ali reviews all I'm gonna do is go and collect reviews and then go down to AliExpress and then click update product list my product should pop up right here and just like that we got the product up I'm gonna click import reviews and then I'm gonna pull a product that I'm about to import reviews from you guys don't have to use a product that is even your product you guys can just use literally a product that's similar that has a lot of reviews because a lot of products might not have too many reviews. So all reviews, I'm gonna do reviews without photo because this product is different than the actual product that I'm selling. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click import reviews. So as I click import reviews right here, you guys, I gotta import this thing real quick. Boom, boom import reviews. So now that we have reviews imported, all that we're going to go ahead and do is go back over to our store and start working on the actual product description. So for this, what I'm going to do is name it first. So the official easy eats bowl for my description, you guys, I have one set up for this product already, but I'll kind of walk you through how I did it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and basically copy what I have for my description. The next thing we're going to do is add Giphy's to our description. These Giphy images are really good to have in your description. So I recommend you guys finding or creating Giphy images. You can just go to Giphy.com and create these super easily. So now I'm going to do a little review of my website. I'm going to go scroll through here and kind of check things out, make sure everything's set up the way that I want. So right on the homepage, you can see two little nice pictures up top, a picture of this little um, girl holding the bowl. And then basically you have the whole entire product and you have the add to cart slash buy button right here. Obviously for the one person who ends up taking ownership of this store, go ahead and once you make an Instagram for this product, add your Instagram feed right to there. So now I'm going to check out my product page just to make sure everything looks good on there one more time. Only be on mobile view. Do not be on desktop because mobile is where all your customers will be. This is all you're going to have to do to get started marketing. If you want the chance to actually win the brand that I made in this video with the winning product on it and everything set up and optimized for conversions, I'm actually going to be giving this brand to one of you guys who likes this video and comments on this video. So you guys, if you want to get the chance to win this actual brand, go ahead and like this video and comment something in the comment section. I'm going to be picking one lucky winner to give this whole entire store away to. If you guys also want to get access to my premium Shopify theme that I used in this video for 100% free, since you made it until the end of this video, you guys go ahead and go to the link in the description. With that being said, my name is Jeremy Ray. If you want more Shopify content like this, sub to the channel. It means a lot to me and I'll see you guys in the next video.